honest truth dropping. Honestly, I was really struggling to come up with a compelling story for today's humorous speech competition. Just as you know, I'm a very truthful guy. I like to draw on my experiences when I share a story with the rest of you guys. Unfortunately, Toastmasters tends to have very stringent criteria when it comes to their jokes. No uh, sex, no drugs, no race, no drugs, right? There's no one from CNB. Here, right? Central Narcotics Bureau. I knew it. I heard a lot of people saying CB, CB all just now. You know, am I moving on? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not that kind of guy. I'm very decent. I, I don't like these kind of jokes. Yeah, you see some sniggers. You have some looks of disbelief. And that's why I'm going to prove all of you wrong. I'm going to tell you a story today when I was a slightly different guy. When I was a little less confident. It was the May of 2013. I just finished my first year of university examinations. And I was really frustrated. I was kind of lonely. Yeah, I wanted to go out, I wanted to meet girls. I you know, just wanted to go out with girls. But I didn't know how. So I went straight to the source. I turned to my good friend, Yazir. See, Yazir was known to be a bit of a ladies' man. And so I just went to him and was like, Hey man, Yazir, I want to go out with some girls. How do I do it? How do I get started? His response was, Hey, what's up? I tell you. Uh. Hey, very simple. Take out your phone now. Take out your phone. Okay, don't download this app. Okay, Cupid. Okay? <laughs> okay, really? That's all. Hey, uh, message, 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 message. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. So I went back home, downloaded the app, and I said, message, message. So I did. And let me tell you, it was a daunting task. Okay? Firstly, for half the profiles of the girls I met, the, re the reaction was pretty much the same. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. My friends put me up to this. I, I'm just looking around. Looking around. So is this a dating app or Ikea? <laughs> you want, I can bring you the courts. Can get you LED TV, 0% installment. <laughs> and then came the actual talking part. Ya yeah, Allah ma. You know how sometimes something might seem really charming to one group of people, but really creepy to the next? So I remember I was talking to this nurse once. Yeah, ooh, exactly. So I, I tried to do the ooh also. Before. So I went there and said, hey, you know, wow, you sure it's safe keeping you around the patients? You know, you might break a couple of hearts. How dare you? Uh, I'm a professional. It's people like you that give nurses a bad name. It's like, okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Okay, you know what? Fine. Then the next girl I talked to also happened to be a nurse. Okay, I put a very somber look. Wow, nursing. You must be very passionate about it. Yeah, he has his perks. You know, some guys find the uniform a real turn on. I'm like, nope. You know what? I'm not falling for that. Okay? No. Okay, fine. I'm out. And so you can see, it was kind of an uphill struggle. So that's until I met Sabrina. Sabrina was really cute. Okay, she banged, she wore glasses, she had really pretty smile. And we were hitting it off. And then I decided, hey, you know what? I, I want to ask this girl out. And I did. We set a date. And we were talking up till then. I remember the day before the date. She actually went and cut her hair and I was like, oh my god, she's dolling herself up for me. It's like, shit, I better bring my A-game. What do I do? So I went again to my consultant, my dear friend Yazir. I was like, Yazir, so I have this date. Okay, what do I do? Okay, macha, I tell you. Uh. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, go bring her for a picnic. Okay, what you do? You tap out two chicken rice. You buy one six-pack, okay, bring her botanic garden. Ready one. Okay, all the romantic, the girls like, some more cheap. Okay, after you give me two cans of the beer, so we said it. Okay, alright. Sounds good, I like it. The logistics were handled, you're settled. Yeah, so, yeah. what, what do I do when I'm out on this date? Like, what do I do? Do I hold the hand? Say, okay, very simple. Okay, what do you do? You take out your phone. Okay, say, last time I went on holiday, then you show a picture like that. Then you sang it at your body, then she also was sang it at your body like that. <laughs> then you look, look, then you hand rub, rub a bit, then you quickly hold it. <laughs> okay, very simple, hold on you know, you have a system in place. Like, then I asked him, so what happens if you know, we start having a little bit of chemistry? Do I, do I, do I kiss her? What do I do? This, this part of the conversation, I'll save it for later. So the day actually came and I was standing outside the Botanic Gardens 
Yeah, my chicken rice, some beers, you know, it was, it was fun. And I was all pumped up. Out of nowhere, this little kid, okay, that looks like a little Shaolin monk, comes and rocks and runs and hugs me. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was in a really loving mood. So I was like, yes, my child. Yes, <laughs> How, how can I help you? He was like, Oi, it's me, Sabrina. I was like, what? <laughs> what this girl failed to mention to me was when she was cutting her hair, she was shaving her head bald for hair for hope. <laughs> and so I saw her hair, I lost hope. <laughs> how was I supposed to carry on like this? But you know what? I had a system in place, so I carried on. So I went out and you know what? We had a good time. We were laughing, we, we, we bounced jokes off each other. and then the night carried on, I was holding her hand, I could feel my heart thumping, you know, feel the chemistry, the tension, I was like, wow, I really want to kiss her, what do I do? And then I remember what Yaze told me, hey man, that's what you do, huh? you go to the girl, right, then you brush your hair like that. <laughs> okay? If you don't, uh, that means, you know, you're in, okay, if you don't, uh, you can kiss her. <laughs> that's okay, that's the king. Brush what? It's water! <laughs> I was like, oh my, I didn't know what to do. Was it? You know, you're staring at her face, you're staring at it for so long. The tension was building. I got nervous. I was like, ah! I was like, oi, what are you doing? Just now the alcohol I drink now makes me not cocktail already, you know? I was like, I, I don't know, okay? I was looking at you, I was nervous, and I just, ah, damn, you But you know what? The truth paid off. And uh, I had a really good night. And it's a little lesson I want to share with you. If you're ever stuck in a situation, sometimes the truth can set you free. The truth got me a good night, and I hope my little story added a little something to your night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>